there's a place to show that feels good to good to hear because this is the ASMR talk show so get real close to your speakers turn your headphones way up move that laptop a little bit closer to you up on the bed and enjoy enjoy the show we have a great guest a rapper another rapper on the show tonight Sunspot Jones but before we talk about rapping I talk about another I am a music fan had another adventure going to rock and roll concert last week was let me just say last week was an absolutely joyous week for our country I think everyone was just having a good time a lot of cool events and we owe it all to the Pope whether you're Catholic or Protestant Muslim or Jew the Pope really made everybody feel pretty good last week so we gotta let's give it up for His Holiness the Pope but in this spirit of good times Last week I went to the L.A. County Fair. By the way, if you want to get to know the county of Los Angeles, go to the fair because you have to drive through the entire thing to get to the fair. It's, it's way the heck out there. And it's packed. There's a lot of people. And the problem with the fair is that it's, a, it's for cheap people. These are not the folks with the season pass to Disneyland. These are not people who live in Orange County and go to Not Scary Farm. This is cheap people from all over LA County, which is fine, except for everything at the fair costs money. So there's just a lot of people, grumpy people, waiting to be swindled out of their money. I dropped a boatload, I don't care, I was having a good time. But you just, you pass a lot of, uh, a lot of parents telling their kids, okay, you guys are going to share that. No, one fried Oreo each. The reason I went to the fair, though, was to see the Beach Boys, one of the greatest rock groups of all time. But the version of the Beach Boys that's together now, this is not Pet Sounds Beach Boys. This is Kokomo Beach Boys. This is Full House Beach Boys. You might remember a, a high point in the Beach Boys' later career was they appeared on Full House once, I think it might have been twice, but they came on Full House, and they've been writing that ever since, because John Stamos is now in the Beach Boys, and has been for 30 years, and the show was, they played a lot of hits, but it was also very Stamos heavy. Mike Love did a, a tribute to his cousin Carl, who sang the song, uh, sang one of the, uh, the ballads, and then immediately after, is very much immediately after, he's like, Check out John Stamos' new show, Grandfather, on ABC. And then they started playing Jesse's Girl. To, it's like, yeah, John Stamos is here, but like his name is John, it's not Jesse. He's really only known for Full House. It was such a strange way for the, for the Beach Boys to kind of end their legacy. But it was enjoyable nonetheless. So going out there, just enjoy, uh, enjoy the vibes, enjoy the feelings. Enjoy whatever version of something that comes to you. My guest tonight is a living legend, literally. Well, in the, where you think of living legends, and he's in a group called Living Legends, a rap group. He's also an entrepreneur. He's, he's into film and video and stuff like that. If you don't know him, you will soon. Sunspot Jones. Hey, Sunspot. What's up, people? Oh, smack. I'm in the house. Hello. Yeah. This, would you like to be in this house? The... Um, I'm in the trailer house. That's how I look at it as. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is very country. At the end yeah. of At the end of my block, they, they don't have any parking restrictions. And there's a whole bunch of trailers like that. There's like a neighborhood sprouted up. Is there overnight. any black people in your neighborhood? No. Okay, so maybe I can't live in your neighborhood. <laughs> you could be in the neighborhood's changing. Okay, I'm going to change it up. That's what I'm going to do. Invite a couple of homies to live there. Yeah, you get, get an RV. 
<laughs> Do you think that that's weird though? That there's like a little neighborhoods of like informal trailer parks? I mean, it's trailer park nation kind of. That's what America is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised. Uh, that trailer looks um, maybe from 1960 something. We'll just keep the last part blank. It's a six and a blank, yeah. you know, but uh, that's cool. Makes me wish I didn't wear all black though, because, you know, anyway. <laughs> you look like a Jaguar. I, I look like a Panther. Yeah. There we go. Is that your favorite big cat? It is, a panther or a lion, you know what I mean? Because the lions just don't stop, you know what I mean? And they just eat fast, you know, and I eat fast. There's something weird about that. But yeah, I'm okay. How did you get the name Sunspot Jones? Can I curse? If you, yeah, if you want. Because I'm a bright ass dark motherfucker. Ooh, okay. You know? That's I, what it is. The cursing makes it tough. Normally I'm against vulgarity, but I like the way you. Thank you, thank you. I put it nicely. You put it with a punch in there. Put it with a punch. That's what we do. If you just throw around f bombs, I love to throw f bombs, except in church, you know, because usually I leave that for the preacher. You don't know the preacher always curse more than you know. You never know. The preacher, you've been in church with the preacher. That's right. He drinks more, he smokes more, and he curses more. Praise Jesus. I gotta go to this church. <laughs> I think you get a lot of people. Church. That's right. Church. What's that? Church. Church. That's just giving it up to your, your God. Mic out. Oh, I should pull my mic out some? Yeah, it's on my eye drop. Yeah, really he, uh, if he pulls his mic out too much, he's going to have to you know, register with the... Yeah, my, it's, it's bigger than your mic. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not like I know, but I know, you know. Sometimes you can just know things. You just know things, and knowing is half the battle. What's the other half? It is not knowing things. There's only two. Maybe it's. I think it'd be like it's a half and a third. Thing. I think the other half could get divided. Okay, well that's something between you and Jesus. See, we, we're creating conversations for you and Jesus. I appreciate that. He's on next week. He should be. Yeah. He had hit me up by text. He said he's gonna come by and, and smoke me out, but I didn't see his roles. You ever see that guy, I think his name is Sunset Jesus? He's trying to steal my whole thing now. The guy who dresses like Jesus, do you know who I'm talking about in Hollywood? Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about. It's a sad, sad character. You think it's sad? Yeah, it's sad, it's sad. Because Jesus was Iranian. Did you know that? Well, he's he's Middle Eastern, he's from Jerusalem. Yeah, he's somewhere Iranian, you know what I mean? He owe me money too. The Holy Land, <laughs> Jesus, as you might. Yeah, he owed me a little change. A little change. You know, it's a long story. It's good. We, man, we go way back. Way, way back. Well, we have, this is long format. They what? This is a long format yeah, show, so if you want to tell the story. Well, look, Harry. Can I call you Frank? No, let me tell you, Tom. I know it's a thing. Well, I can't even tell you. It's a secret between me and him. It's good, though. I'll email you the whole link. Maybe some parts will be missing, but you know, you have to figure that out. That's the power of Jesus. <laughs> you should know this already. Wow. That's all right. Did you ever have any other rap names that you tried out before settling on Sunspot Jones? I did, actually. Um, I went by Vision. I like that. That was the name for a long time. Then it was BFAP, brother from another planet. Okay. B-F-A-P, because my homie, like when I was younger, he used to be like, oh, you look like BFAP. You know, we used to get in fights, but That's after a while, planet. I was like, maybe I do look like BFAP. <laughs> and then um, Ishkambu. <laughs> Like real life, I know, I know. It's, it's Ish- Ishkumbu? Ishkumbu, I should have kept it, but I just did Ishkumbu. Ishkumbu, I don't like the way you said it. You have to have the K in there. Ishkumbu. There we go. It's like a genie? I mean, it's like, you better say it righty. Whitey. <laughs> Ishkumbu. <laughs> Ishkumbu, sorry. So what is that other one? Oh, and then there's Dusty Black. And then, uh, there's a couple. 
that I can't tell you yet because the sun hasn't christened over the sand. But you know, when you're ready. Yeah, when I'm ready. What, get that link. what causes you to move on from a persona like that? Uh, are they personas with just, each name, or are they all just shades of you? Just all selections. You know, a lot of selections through life, and I don't control. It's like how the moon controls the tides. Like I was saying before, you know, the sector and, you know, some things you should know about. So would you, I mean, you're kind of locked into Sunspot Jones because you've been doing that for a long time, but would you do like an alter ego today? Like, would you change it again? Is there still room for you to switch monikers? Right, right. I see what you're doing. You're trying to buy into my trademark. I got what just happened. I don't know. I'm saying you get two brands going. No, I got a couple of brands going. Garth Brooks and Chris Gaines. That was a good haircut. Damn, that was a good haircut. But, you know, just wait and see. It's like watch it back. It'll just pop up. You know, and that's how we try to live it. Only a surprise. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. If you could think for a moment, describe the most ideal food that you could get. Oh, I was going to tell you, man, I want to have a ramen house. You know what I mean? But not like the, not, not like the um, Asian ramen house, like a black ramen house. Like there's catfish in, up in the ramen, you know what I'm saying? And we're not putting pork rinds in it. I saw that look like you wanted us to have pork rinds, but we don't do pork rinds. Maybe like, you know, um, Fritos, you know, Fritos in the ramen, but you got to eat it quick. And this and would, it turns to polenta, you know, it's all another story. This would be the, uh, like the packaged cup of noodles type ramen, right? No. Mm, uh, this would be the nice restaurant ramen? Man, this is not a cup of noodle. They only want to put the F in cup of noodle. That's why I don't even trust them. That's a whole another story. This is real ramen, genuine, like like the Merichan, you see the, the yeah. smile and shit? Uh -huh. That smile is real. That's a ramen smile. So I want to give a ramen smile. That's the same as cup of noodles. So it's a trademark French. There's something in court right now. We can't even talk about it really right now because you know, it's only getting subpoenaed. There's that type of ramen soup, but then there's also nice ramen soup, like that you would get in little Tokyo or it's ten, eleven dollars for a bowl of it. Right, the elitist ramen. The elitist ramen. Yeah, I don't really deal with a lot of elitist ramen. You know what I mean? Elitist ramen is really thick, but thin inside. You can tell. Do you think that's a metaphor? You know? For how people are. Yeah. True. Like lifesavers. Lifesavers, you know that they're empty on the inside. But they taste good. And that's where they get you. What's your favorite flavor? Man, it's always going to be butterscotch. You know what I mean? Mm. Butterscotch is good, but then, you know, red is always good. Like, I don't know why black people, we love red. Like, Red's red always, it's and the I best flavor of everything. Red is. It's just red. I don't call it cherry, I don't call it strawberry, I don't call it berry. I just call it, give me the red. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how it works. Blue has a lot of range. Blue is always mint or mentalitis. I don't trust mentalitis, you know? Why don't well, they just say mint? A blue raspberry. I always think it's a mint. You know, I get those, that's like, you know, you get that, it's like the green one. You don't know if it's going to be a spearmint or if it's going to be, you know, whenever you get any green hard candy, you know, so I'm upset. Or the coconut one, the white ones and stuff, whenever it's like the white hard confection, you, know, you think, oh, this might be pineapple or this might be, you know, a light colored lemon, yeah. you know, and they, they do you, they fuck you. I wrote a letter to someone about that. I was pissed. I'm still waiting for that. They know who they are. Which one of them? Is, which camera? Here? All of them. Don't you play with me. You know that letter was there. Fucking white candy. You know what I mean? It's just... What happened to, why don't we have any black candy? It says black raspberry, but it's blue. Black licorice. And it's the worst one. I love black licorice. That was almost dirty. But we'll let that go. I'm just saying... Black is never the flavor in candy. Maybe chocolate, but that's brown. Dark chocolate. It's still kind of brown. Well, 
black people aren't like you're like black, black like your shirt. They're kind of brown too. You're just going over the line all night, aren't you? Okay, I see, I see. But there's a color variation. And there's nothing that's dark black that's like, mm, let me get that dark black candy. You never see that. Coffee candy. It's brown. And brown could be anything. It could be Indian. So you want to just be like the blackest? Best candy, candy there is. Why can't we have the blackest, best candy there is? I want to know something about that. We might have to talk to somebody about that. We can get somebody. Yeah, we have to get someone on the phone. Because, like, really, you got a phone up in this trailer? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like one of the flip phones, huh? I don't trust flip phones. It's a little headline. Yeah, okay. We're going to talk about the, the trailer has to plug into the house. Plug into the house. Oh, okay. Do you remember car phones? Yes. They had a little macaroni uh, cord. I love that. It, you couldn't separate it from the car. It was in the console. Yeah. Now I you, did sometimes, just to put it in my pocket. Put the wire in my pocket. I'd be like, Fred, just tell me. What are you doing? They don't believe it, too. That was the best part. You used to only be able to talk on the phone in the car. But now you're not allowed to talk on the phone in the car. They made a law against it. There it is. It's weird how they flip that. Anything for money. I heard they're going to have a thing where if you chew gum and you take a left turn, you're going to get a ticket. I don't get how that works. I mean, for, I mean it doesn't mention your peripherals, but how big is that piece of gum? I heard they even measure it. You know, if like, it's a big piece, you're going to get a big ticket. That isn't fair. But it's just a shrinking kind of gum, you know? The gum that it starts big and it shrinks. This world is fucked up. Finally, something we can agree on. Yeah. Hey, I heard that there was pizza here. I hope so. Guys, uh, backstage in the control room, if there's pizza, I think it might be kind of fun to munch on it. All right. Moving on. I'm just throwing that out here. there. In the trailer, right? No, we're having it delivered. In the, into the trailer. Yeah. What was the oddest thing you've ever had delivered to your house? Hmm. Maybe an army shield. An army shield? Yeah. <laughs> what did you have the army shield for? Well, these fools around the corner were talking all this shit, right? And I saw something on Amazon one day where I was just like, court case pending, I can't really tell you this. But that's the craziest thing. I never order women. You know, they always come like bad, you know? They're never fresh. Women. I like them. They're the greatest. And the craziest. Tell me about the craziest woman you ever met. Well, the craziest woman I ever met. Actually, I was just talking about her the other day. It's really weird. Like, I was crazy about this girl. I was crazy, crazy, crazy about this girl. This girl was like. She, she was the, pretty hot. She was hot. She was hot, man. She, you know, her feet were nice, too. You know, the feet always have to be like, you know, everything clean, you know. But, you know, she had the audacity. Like, before I went to bed, I was like, do you want me to make you something to eat? It's all good. She said, no, no, I'm chill. I just want to go to sleep. No problem. She goes to sleep. I swear, at 5.45 in the morning, she's just like shaking me like a mad woman. And I'm like, what, what? You know, did someone break in the house? What's going on? And she's like, make me a burrito. I was like, what the fuck? I was pissed. I was like, what do you mean, make you a burrito? It's 5.45 in the morning. Make your own damn burrito. I told you before I go to bed, you know, make. This girl lit my curtain on fire and then just started throwing all my stuff out of the window. I was like, what is that about? All of my burritos? She must have been hungry. Yeah, she was hungry. She was really skinny. So I, mean, I guess she only ate. But it was, it was messed up. And after the fire department came, you know, police, you know, oh yeah, thanks. Speaking of the fire department. 
Yes, thank Norm, you. Norm, thank you so much for thank bringing so us much, this Norm. pizza. All right, thank you. Is this spiked with the good stuff? Is pizza really not enjoyable enough? I mean, good stuff. <laughs> right? Cheers, here you go, man. Hey, thank you. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, pizza. I love pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sunspot, this show, I mentioned at the top of the show, was an ASMR talk show. Are you familiar with that? Some yeah. videos on YouTube about it. People having orgasms? Yes. Some are intentional videos and some are unintentional. Okay. Like a radio broadcast or somebody's talking softly. So that's why you do this like the quiet station. Yeah, exactly. KRLX radio. But how do you feel that from things that you're saying, the vocal you know, the content of what you're saying matters, but also just the way you're saying it. Some people that are listening to this. For the way you say something as much as what you're saying. I think that we just, I think that they think we just popped a baddie. And they're jealous. Because they know the pizza tastes hella, hella good. Good, good, good. And their pizza only tastes really good. Would yeah. you ever eat peanut butter on a pizza? Have I ever ate peanut butter on a sure. pizza? Sure. I don't know. It's sticky pizza. Cheese is already sticky enough. At the fair. When At I was the there. fair. Peanut butter is making its way into a lot of pickles. It's going peanut a lot of crazy pickle? places. Mm hmm. In a corn dog. Butter pickle, peanut butter corn dog. Peanut butter pickle. That's some disgusting ass shit you're talking about, dude. That's a lot of peanut butter. Peanut butter and jelly. Can we go back to that? There's a lady around the corner that sells fried bananas with, with jelly and sugar on them. That actually is okay. I can see that. I can see that. Sometimes it works. Experimentation. Better than a peanut butter corn dog. What in the hell are you doing with your life at that point, right? There was pickle lemonade. <laughs> pickle in bed? Pickle lemonade. You need pickle and whiskeys. You know what I mean? A pickleback. Pickleback. That's what you really do. Like, you That's what I like to do. You know what I'm saying? You just like, you can have it at that point. Yes, sir. If only something good pickle related would catch on. Yeah. I'm going to start this pickle mania right here. I mean, Del Talk Show. We still do Del Talk Show? We still do the Del Talk Show. But, um,. Mm, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We're doing a uh, web series version of it called the Del Talk Show Dollar Menu. I remember that. Yeah, so I we're still working on that. Funny. I played it, yeah, your thing. Let's That's talk right. about that. Mm. Music box. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like a traveling film fest. Started here in L.A. Hoping to take it to other places and just, you know, bring some films that I love and let people see some new interesting stuff and have some music in between and just basically have a good time, you know? Like what God made us for. Enjoy our lives. So that's what we do. What are some of the types of things that you show? Well, 
It's so like a triple X. That's good. Yeah, I mean, the permits and all this stuff, you know. But there's some, there's some really good stuff. It's like, I love science fiction, you know what I mean? I love suspense and thriller, and it's a mix of that. Got a lot of students, you know, from PCC that have movies that have shown their stuff, UCLA. Um, just people that are really interested, genuinely interested in film. That's the kind of stuff I want to show. People that really like movies and like to be a part of movies. I want to see those kind of people around me. You know, so it, you know, inspiration inspires inspiration, and that's so important. It is important, and you mentioned that you, you uh, know, people who want to be, you know, be involved in film, be involved and in, be around that. You yourself, uh, you may be making a short film. Is there is a, a feature? feature? It's a okay. Yeah. But the so, one that was the one that I was working on with the girls. Oh, that was Cinderella Drugs. So that yeah. is um, part of the Chosen One series, which is a black and white, which goes into color piece. You know, it's a lot like the Twilight Zone, and um, it's um, the, that episode right there was about a guy who creates a drug that makes you feel good, like ecstasy, but it turns you into a homicidal killer and. and all the stuff that they go through. But that's that right there was actually part two because I shot another one called Charlie's Trumpet about a guy who's losing his talent all through the 90s to be a trumpet player, or he is a trumpet player. And now all of a sudden, he's losing his talent. He seems like he's losing everything. He lost his woman. He's just losing a step in life. And he needs to get put back on path. And he meets the angel Gabriel. And you know a lot of other stuff happens. So, all the things I'm trying to do with the chosen ones is like, you know, just create different ideas of how your life can be before the crossroads. Everyone gets to the crossroads and I want to get you right before the crossroads. What makes you decide what you're gonna do when you get to the crossroads kind of moment, you know? And that's what these pieces are. What is it about sci fi suspense that <coughs> interests you? The stuff that interests me about sci fi It demands you see another side. Very few things do that in life. A lot of people are okay with just the neutral, I'm just moving kind of thing. You know, Sci-fi demands you get over this wall so you can see what exactly you're doing. And I appreciate that. What's your favorite sub-genre of sci-fi? Do you like aliens? Do you like time travel? Am I a nerd? Yeah, I am. I love all that shit. But what's your favorite? Love time travel. Love the idea of going back in the past, you know. Being a black person, I can only go back so far. It's kind of fucked up without getting bothered. But uh, I like the idea of time travel. I love the idea of aliens, but not in real life because, you know, I don't want to know that aliens are fucking alien. I just want to know there are aliens, you know, because that already scared me. Like, what the fuck is an alien going to do to you? You know? But then when you think about it, literally everyone must be an alien. Everybody is a life form, a spirit from something, and they could all be alien. You know, we can keep going on and on on that. But. Well, we have uh, producer Nolan here. Have you been able to hear me at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, your mic just keeps it keeps going. Oh, oh, oh. That's, uh, that, that's that alien combo. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. All right. So um, probably aliens is cool. Time travel is really nice. You know. I like it when they mix aliens and ghosts together. It's not fair. Does it make, you know, an alien and a ghost? Like, I don't think they're going to scare either one because they don't know the understanding of what each one is. Like, an alien doesn't give a fuck about a, a dead human that's still alive. Like, that's like, who gives a fuck? And a, and a dead person doesn't give a fuck about an alien. But I like the idea of that in this universe, if there was a universe where there could be aliens and there's a universe where there could be ghosts, then it's conceivable that they're the same universe and maybe, luck of the draw, 
both supernatural things happen on the same day. It's just it's more about a coincidence. Tell me this, Doug. You play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, don't you? I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. I, I want know. to. Some nerds, I asked some nerds to let me play with them. And they're like, yeah, maybe sometime. And they never would let me play with them. That's a sad story right there. You got dissed by the nerds. I got dissed by nerds. What did the band do to you? The Glee Club and all those. Well, oh, this was recently. This was in the last couple of years. Wow. These are adult nerds. Wow. You might need to carry a gun. <laughs> just a small one, just so they know you kind of not playing with them. Um, but yeah, so those are my favorite subgenres. Time travel for sure. I love H.G. Wells. So it's like the Time Machine movie from the 60s? I love the Time Machine movie from the 60s. Hate the Time Machine movie from 2000. The one with Guy Pearce. And oh, yeah. He goes back to Mumumba, whatever her name is. I just thought that was just so janky. The Morlocks. Janky. Yeah, That's a good janky word. Janky as hell, yeah. What does janky mean to you? Janky means just like ratchet. It means uh, rickety. You know, like... Discombobulated. Give me some examples. Like your whole outfit is janky as fuck. This is hey, Sunspot, this is <laughs> this is internet discount mall. No, no, I mean I love Patagonia. What is that? This is an LLB <coughs> Patagonia ripoff. It gets more painful. I noticed the like the Christmas forever sweater yeah. around the mm -hmm. collar. I understand now. Wow. Jesus saves. He does. Do I have, so what kind of I shirt? Don't don't, I don't need to see that. No, I have a belt that says Jesus saves. Okay. But I'm not wearing it. Okay. That's my only belt, so it's I should be wearing it. Okay. You look like a guy that wear like a shoestring as a belt. Is that you? No, never. I could see it. A shoestring? A shoestring. And I got my my jeans are all tattered and I got the, <laughs> the hobo bindle. <laughs> That's like that kind of guy to you? It might, or, and like, you know, the little hats where it was tied at the top or something, you know, it's not sewn, it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> Take the hat off, I want to ask for a hot meal. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, you are skinny, you should have a hot meal, always. You know, you should be eating a lot of hot meals. Yeah, EBT, you can only get cold food. <sighs> EBT, man, you just, what you do with that is... You go buy a lot of things for 10 cents with the EBT. Oh, wait, it's not like food stamps. So there is no change. Damn, I got to think of another hustle now. Fuck. I'll send you that link. There was, uh, I got once a, a DVD at the thrift store. There was some straight-to-DVD thing called, like, like the player's top hustles. And it was a, just like a was like that your instructional black thing. Right there? This is my, my gangster oh, voice. Wow. Well, can we hear it again? <laughs> the plays. The plays. Wow. You want me to do a new uh, black male way? Yeah, do it. Go on. Man. Let's see you go. The plays right. hustles. That is just such a Steve painful man. moment. Okay. You're like the, uh, the the white shaft. Is that what it is right now? <laughs> okay. Shush yeah, your mouth. Whoa. It's Damn just... right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Jesus is going to save you now. I thought, he, but now. He will. I think, you know. <laughs> no, but it was a DVD about scams you could pull on people. And one was to get broken TVs and wrap them up in plastic and sell them at the gas station. Oh, yeah, that's the old school. <laughs> get the iPad, yeah. I, yeah, iPad box, and uh -huh. then you put a baby brick in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. And then, you know, you rewrap it up. And then, I mean, you got to know your street hustle. They led with that one yeah, in the DVD. Yeah, that was the first cool. one. You didn't buy that, did you? The TV? You didn't buy that, did you? No, I, no, 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 no. I needed the DVD so I wouldn't fall for any of the hustles. Your face looks like you might have fell for it and you ran after him. Did you run back after the person that sold you the brick in a box? I, I bought a DVD about a brick in a box. Okay. I'm satisfied with the DVD. Okay. I wouldn't be satisfied <laughs> if I was a victim of a hustle. Okay. But the movie about hustling. I believe you. Yeah, that was goodbye. <laughs> that could be a scam. <coughs> like, this movie teaches you all the hustles and there's nothing on it. They giving away the game? That ain't right. 
He shouldn't be giving away the game. Like the magician that gives away its secrets. You know, that's just not a, what movie was that? The Illusionist? Wasn't he giving away some of the game in that? I don't know. Yeah, something like that, man. These motherfuckers is out there. Bad motherfuckers. Penn and Teller have a show. Foolish. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. You've seen it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> They're getting so old. I'm like, why do they even care to do it anymore? You know what I mean? Penn is like 60 something years old. It's like, he looks like he's, he's partying in Vegas every night he was there, like he had to. You know? He's going to die soon. I mean, he's just going to be a senior citizen soon. Like, he already is. But people that are big and fat don't live past 65, he's not, he's not 70. not like that no more, though. It seems he's like. Not, but he's big. I mean, he's just a big dude. Big people don't live a long time. You got the Andre the Giant thing going. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, I mean, I hope the man let him know. He, he seems like a funny guy. He's been around for a while, you know. I like him. I like Teller. Oh, Teller's the man. Yeah. He says a lot of good shit. If that's your act where you don't say anything. But he's the most talented. But if you're good at it, yeah. nobody can fault you. All you have yeah. to do is not say anything. He's got to do that and just look like a pimp and be like, you this know? Is... There we go. Tell God bless it. America. He doesn't tell anything. He doesn't, he doesn't tell shit. Best player. I want to do a new exercise, a new segment game that I thought of today. I'm going to list some adjectives, and you're going to tell me if you think that describes you, and then if it You're not going to make me attack you right now, are you? No. Okay. If it doesn't describe you, and, but you wish it did, mm -hmm. we'll, uh, we're going to unpack that a little bit. Pack what? Unpack. I don't and like the way that sounds again, dude. you got to use some other... You know, unpacking? Whoa. That just sounds disgusting. All right, say the words. I'm I'm waiting. You're, you're disgusted by unpacking. <laughs> so when you travel, you have to hold the clothes never come out of the suitcase. See when you move. You're all using all these these bad words, man. I mean suitcase. Yeah, you can't say that shit. You know. Yes. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Say the say the, the adjectives. Okay. Hungry. Man. Oh, we're going to do word association? I thought that's what we're doing. No, so you think that describes you or not. Oh. Are you hungry right now? Well, I was. I did have some pizza. Yeah, so. have some. If you're still... No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I can have some meat on it. All right. You know. Fearful. So wait, first is hungry. How does it describe me? Do you think it describes always, you? Yeah, I'm always hungry. Okay. I'm never, never not hungry. Fearful. Does fearful, I mean, I'm always fearful that I might have to kill somebody, that I might have to go off on a motherfucker. Suspicious. I'm always suspicious, because I know motherfuckers will. Sticky. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, shit'll get attached. Precocious? Precocious? Precocious. I said precocious to your precocious. I'm, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little cautious <laughs> to accept that. <laughs> oh, we're in ancient Egypt. Holy smack, I can't believe all these camels came through and didn't bring me 140. <laughs> that would be cool if they could make a camel that had... A 40 in the hump? Well, they should just put a nice beer then. If you're going to make a camel that could... So a camel that has a keg on its back, but it's built into their body. Man, but the keg is a bit nice beer. Yeah, like camel beer? Camel makes cigarettes. Oh, they can cross-promote. Those motherfuckers already took over. They go great together. Oh, shit. Beer and cigarettes. Like a camel ale. Camel ale. Camel ale. Would you hang out with your camel? That fool got hella money. You know what I mean? He want to break me off a couple minutes. If there's a party at his house, would you go? Nah, all them hoes would be dirty. I can already tell. Any hoe that hangs out with Joe Camel is a dirty hoe. But they might have free cigarettes. Fuck cigarettes. I want weed. 
Yeah, he probably doesn't smoke weed. Joe no. Camel. He's a cowboy. He smokes no. like... No, the cowboy. Cow hair. Joe Camel. Oh, he's Middle Eastern, too. Really? Camel, yeah. Joe Camel? Turkish. He's Turkish. Oh. So he's like a Middle Eastern playboy. Okay, you chilled with this guy. That's what I'm imagining he would be like. It's a fantasy. Yeah. What about Tony the Tiger? Okay, I'm lost now. What would you hang out? Would you hang out with him? Fuck no! I don't hang out with cartoons. You know what? They they cause the most shit. Cause all I can do is go back in the water, go back in the wall, go back in the cardboard. They can just disappear. I'm a human. How about Gumby? Nah, uh, he would He's disappear. Claymation right here. into the book. Yeah. What about Rin Tin Tin? I don't think the movie dog. Were too into Rin Tin Tin. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Wasn't he like in the Nazis and all that shit? No, he fought the Nazis. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Wasn't he with the Nazis like He's back then? Against them. Well, whatever, man. You know, I see some people look like they Nazis, you know. Ren Tin Tin looked a little... German. Nazis, yeah. It's a German yeah, shepherd. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just, trying, just trying to think of a character from popular culture. Oh, what about... Sir Isaac Newton. Fig Newtons are the worst cookie ever made, man. I don't even know how that got on the market. The Pine what Saw Lady. Would you hang out with her? I never even seen. I thought it was a Pine Saw dude. Isn't he a bald? You kind of look like the Pine Saw dude with the That's Tom Selleck on your your face. Mr. Clean. Ain't that the Pine Saw guy? No, he's Mr. Clean. Oh. Man, all these motherfuckers look related, man. You know. Oh wow. Saying that all mascots look alike? That might be a prejudice I've just created right now. I can't believe it. When you signed your release form earlier, you signed it with your left hand. Yeah? You're left-handed. You're lefty. I truly am. Me too. Okay. Do you think it's cool when you meet another lefty? Do you I think I write worse than the right. Definitely. You know? But I can at least see what... I mean, I don't know. I cover up, I guess, everything I write. We're right, you see, you know. We're living in a right man's world. This is true. A right handed man. We need Art and Luther King at that point. <laughs> what was his name? Art and Luton King. Art and Luton King? Art and Luther King. Oh, Art and Luther King. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. Art, Artist Garvey. Arcus. Art. <laughs> Wow, Arcus you Garvey. Just truly white on that one right there. Arcus Garvey. It's okay, living in a right man's world, I guess, huh? I'm scared. Right, right hand's world. <laughs> I'm just saying the world is against us because we're left-handed. For many reasons, this is true. I'm I'm left-handed because I write with my left hand. But I throw with my right hand. Oh, you're cross dominant. Yeah. I'm like a double agent. With hand speaking, you know. If you could spy for one country against the US, who would it be? The Bahamas. Cuz I need an island, motherfucker. I need an island. Yeah, man. Clear water. Clear water. What kind of secrets from the US would you be trying to get to the Bahamians? Definitely in the Colonel's Secret Spices. Which one was it? It was 11. It's 11 of them, yeah. Herbal Spices for sure. And, um, they probably already have KFC in the Bahamas, though. Yeah, but it's the bad kind. They don't got the herbs. They got jerk chicken kind. But that's good, too. You know. Um, let me see. What would I be trying to get? And I don't know, what could I, I mean, everything's on the internet. My cousin Snowden's roommate, so I already got a lot of info on deck. Just holla at me. Sto Snow Edward Snowden is That's your... That's right, man. It's your cousin? Yeah, no, my cousin's roommate. Oh, he's your cousin's roommate. Yeah, yeah, man. I was supposed to probably eat some Perosky right now. What time is it? It is 10.50. Yeah, so... Did you get any messages since you've been on the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on in your world? 
Man, I got freaks calling me up in Thailand right now, saying they're seeing this right here. That's crazy. They want to fly here. I was just like looking on orbits, seeing how much tickets was. To Thailand? Yeah, from Thailand to here. From Thailand to here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can get them to come dance or something. That would be cool. Do a little. What is your favorite dance move? Definitely the running man. Come on. It's the greatest move ever created. You, can just, you know. It's like you're going somewhere, but you're not. It's amazing. It's always funny. It's amazing. Can you do the running man? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't believe you. Do you guys want to see me do the running man? I mean, we, re we do you want do to see me? Do you guys want to see me? Okay, I'm going to do it. Wait. Dun, 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 yeah, come on. Do a little dun, beatbox. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, look. Let me tell you what was wrong with that. You don't have a little hop with it like that. The little hop with little it. Jog. I mean, it's not like you're you're about to really take off. Like if your foot hits wrong, you're gonna. Well, you're gonna maybe you could stage. show me the correct way. I only dance for money. You know. Ask a girl about that. <laughs> I don't dance for pizza, man. It's all good. Just you, you might need to go into a YouTube video for that. But you know what? Anyway, here we go. All right. Pop and lock. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Wow. Thank you. Just a talent, man. It's just a talent. Do you have an album coming out or anything? Yeah, man. I got a new album coming out. It's called. Man of the Storm, and uh, I'm hoping that'll be out 2016. Great, that's only a few months away. This year flew by. Someone's calling you. Not me. That's you. Oh. Is that a Lance Morissette? No, nah, this airplane song, B.O.B. song. Oh, the airplanes are like shooting stars. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And then it has like my old classmate, actually, let us see her picture there. Oh. It's crazy. Let us see. She's good. You should check her out. Yeah, look for that in 2016 as well. <laughs> um, that's out now. That's out now. Damn it. Movie stuff, videos. Still doing uh, movie stuff. I mean, I'm just, honestly, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Cool, because we're getting we're running out of time. We're trying to get all the plugs in, man. I mean, I am. Okay, so. The music box. So there's music here, box the end. All your hustles. Okay, there's a film I just did that has uh, Phase on Love in it who plays Big Perm from Friday. Kalita Smith, she played Bernie Mac's wife from the Bernie Mac show. Um, Golden Brooks, she's, she was in a TV show called Girlfriends. Paula J. Parker, she's just in everything. And uh, that's called She's Got a Plan and it stars Fatima Washington. Then I have my sci-fi series called The Chosen Ones. And that, the two episodes on that is Charlie's Trumpet is one. And the other one is Cinderella Drugs, by the guy who creates the drug that makes you crazy. Um, and then I have a couple documentaries I'm trying to do. One of them's called Are We Here? It's about like how we all have just allowed ourselves to conform to sheeple and we just aren't even here anymore. We allow technology kind of to run our life. Just like you don't even know a phone number anymore. You just know a person's name on the phone. You don't even talk to a person anymore. You just text them. Like, we don't even exist as people really anymore. We're just consumers. We're sheeple. So it's called Are We Here? And uh, I have a couple of um, just film projects that I'm hoping to lead you know, off with after these other things get in the works. And that's just, you know, I'm just trying to stay in my art thing, I, I definitely have a children's pop-up book, too, I want to mention. It's called Bubbles the Brave, and it's about these um, aliens that are guardian angels to kids that have misplaced the love in their life, and I'm hoping that drops in 2016 as well. 2016 is going to be great. Sunspot, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me up here. I'm about to go eat some pizza and drink some oh, beer. Oh, yeah, drink some more beer, and everyone, hold on. Up. Wow, you're going to... Yeah, do the running, man. Well, I remind the audience that until next week, this is Adam Papagan hey, hey, saying right, that there's man. a place 
You can go, and it's your mind. Good night. <laughs>